What is up family? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Ari Simone here and on my channel I am purpose to help you power towards your purpose fearlessly. In today's video we are going to talk all about manifestation and why this new movement is so real, so true, and why you should be manifesting the right way. So if you are intrigued by this video I invite you to stay along for the rest of this video. So manifestation, what is it? So I'm sure if you click on this video, you have a little inclination, inclination of what manifestation is. However, I don't want to assume, even though our spiritual gurus, our yogi, our influencers are all out here and professing how they've manifested their dream career, their dream financial income, their dream relationship, their dream vacation, everything is like i manifested this life my dream reality right but what does it actually mean to manifest what does manifestation actually mean and so i thought we could go to mary webster because what better way to figure out what something means and to look it up in the dictionary and so let's go ahead and read it together manifestation or to manifest means for something to be readily perceived by the senses and especially by the sense of sight or to make evident or certain by showing or displaying. So to manifest something or for something to be manifest means that you can tangibly interact or engage with this thing via the senses. Sight, touch, feel, taste, all those things. So when you manifest a thing, when something is manifested in your life, you see it it's tangible you can feel it it's a reality so now giving you that definition right for me to tell you that manifestation or to manifest means that you something can actually become a reality for you right this is what people are out here are telling you they're saying if you speak these things if you meditate on these things if you write these things down if you're constantly enamored or immersed in these things that you want to be true it will come to pass it will be tangible you can experience it you can engage with it it will be manifested right that's what people out here are trying to encourage you what they're trying to encourage you to do i'm not mad at the encouragement what I'm upset about and what I feel like God is upset about is the intention and the power in which we're um, tapping into. All right. So this is the next part. Why do people manifest without God? I'm going to tell you why. Point blank period. It's a couple reasons that people manifest without God. The first reason is because they just don't know. Like if you don't know about God, if you just acknowledge there's a higher power out there and you don't really have language for that, you don't know about Jesus Christ, like, yeah, if someone's telling you that there's this power within you to call things forth and to bring it into a reality or for it to become true for your life, like, of course, people are going to be open to that. Because, like, if you found the cheat sheet to the test, you would, you would, love, you would be like, hey, bro, like, you know, what's the answer to number five it's the same when it comes to manifestation it's essentially saying like i found a cheat sheet for your depression for your your job that you can't get enough of this i found a solution to um the reason why you can't find a date or you're always in the wrong relationships like this is a solution just manifest just write it down write the vision meditate on it always um keep it in your sight like imagine yourself there and it'll just be so like it's a solution to a problem so again, why people do it without God is because they may just not know about God. The second reason is, is because somehow, <laughs> this was me before, somehow we as people think that we know more or we know better than God. So like me manifesting my own life and not really consulting with what God's plan for my life is, with his will, for his intent, his intent is for my life if i'm not consulting god i'm essentially saying i know what's best for me i know at which time in my life it's best for me i know when i need that relationship i know when i need to make that amount of money i know when i need to be doing x y and z this is the trick of manifestation all right the enemy <laughs> this is rough. 
this is the thing with him. He, all he does is manipulate everything. The devil is, is technically not a liar. He's a truth-telling liar. One more time. The devil is a truth-telling liar. When the enemy tempted Jesus in the wilderness, he tempted him with truths. He said, aren't you the son of man? Like, won't God come save you? Yeah, God will save me. Yeah, I'm the son of man, but I'm not going to test God. Go read the story when Jesus was in the wilderness. But I say that to say, like, the enemy is a truth-telling liar. He literally uses the truth to manipulate it and construe it, which makes it a lie. Manifestation is the enemy's finest work. I would say probably some of his finest work. Because it's telling you, you have power, your words have power to speak things in existence. That's scripture. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. It even says if we believe, like if we believe that we have such a power on the inside of us that we could speak to a mountain, cast it into the ocean, and it will be so if we believe. Manifestation, these spiritual gurus out here, the devil himself is trying to tell us, hey, you're powerful. You have life and death in your tongue. You can write the vision down and make it plain. That's scripture. You can meditate on this vision that you want day and night and then it will come to pass. That's scripture. You're supposed to meditate on God's word day and night. So that you can see the fruits of his word. The fruits of his spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, self-control, goodness, kindness. You're supposed to see that come to pass in your life. So the enemy's telling you, like, hey, yeah, like, you spiritual being, like, you have all this control. Go curate the life you want. But the Bible also says there's such thing. God says the spirit helps us have good success. And I love that scripture because I, I wonder, like, when God says things, I don't think he just says it just to say it. When God says good success, I believe that there's such thing as bad success. The right thing at the wrong time is not the right thing. Because God is all about order. He's all about time and seasons. I.e. why we have spring, summer, winter, fall. There's a time and season for everything. There's a time and season for the blessings that God has predestined to be released into your life. There's a time and season for it. And prematurely, you could lose it. The enemy telling you, hey, go manifest, is to get you out of alignment is to dangle desires in your face and tell you this is somewhat what you want so that this other thing this bigger thing the thing that has the ability to blow your mind that exceeds your expectations this thing that God has for you that's on the shelf for the right time you say forget that I want it hot and I want it now like fast food but it's just gone just like that. It's not really healthy. It's not that fulfilling. It scratches the it at, itch at the moment. But the more you have that fast, hot food, it's not really adding any nutrients. It's not really digging any roots or laying down the, the ground of your body in order for things to grow and thrive. You're not getting your necessary nutrients. The wrong thing at the right time can be detrimental to your spiritual life the health of your um career the health of your family dynamic the health of your deliverance or um unlearning those toxic traits and um internal disconnects the things that were spoken to you as a kid like all these things are interconnected and interwoven and the enemy just distracts you by saying like you all those desires you have on the other side of the screen friend he's saying all those desires you have it could be yours. Do it. Do it. Go for it. But really, it's God who says, for I know the plans I have for you. For it's God who says, I'm a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. I establish your steps. Actually, your wisest thought is my dumbest thought. This is what God's word says. Look. This is just to expose what's already been out there. Yes, you can manifest your life. You can. 
Do you also want to manifest destruction? Do you want to manifest something that's fleeting? Something that doesn't even sustain? No longevity. What God has for you, he wants you, he, he's doing it in his timing so you can sustain it. He's doing it in his timing so that thing can thrive, so that thing can flourish. He's doing it in his timing because he knows what's best for you. Because <laughs> newsflash, he actually created you. You didn't create yourself. So to be quite honest, you really don't know what's best for you. You barely know yourself. You literally barely know. Your, you barely can make decisions. But yet you somehow know the perfect life that you deserve, at, I mean, that you need. You somehow know the perfect life for you to live right here, right now, in this moment. But you can't even make the right decisions about your friend group or relationship partner or in your business. You can't even love your, you can't even love your spouse right. But you somehow know what you need. You don't even know you. Now I want to share with you how you can use truth of God's word, the power, which is the Holy Spirit, on inside of you to come into agreement and to be jolted into the reality that God has intended for you. The reality of experiencing his peace, the reality of experiencing his grace, the reality of knowing you are worthy, the reality of knowing that you are not your past, the reality of knowing all the truths to the lies that you have Come accustomed to believing for too long now all right so this is what you do you got to go to the word always you have to go to the word that's why it says meditate on the word day and night the word is god breathe like make sure it doesn't leave your lips like this is our this is the word is our sword our sword all right of the spirit it is sharper than any double-edged sword it can cut through flesh and blood or flesh and something else you can cut through bone and marrow bone and marrow flesh and blood the word all right so you have to immerse yourself in the word. Down in the description box, I'm gonna plug a link to a free download resource for you. It's literally a whole bunch of I am and affirmation statements that are strictly pulled from the Bible, all right? You can plug in your email, it'll like send you a PDF downloadable situation and you can recite this day in, day out, all the time. Um, for you so i really hope this video blessed you as we talked about you know what manifestation is why people don't do it with god and how you can start doing it just by getting in the word this week like today like today like after you exit out this video after it's finished like today get into that word and um just allow god's word to come to life to breathe life to um encourage you and Put it in your sack, your your little repertoire, because you need it for snap attacks. Whenever the enemy tries to deposit lies, baby, you have a truth for that lie, all right? Um, I love you guys so much. I linked the um, free resource. It's free. I have already pulled together a whole bunch of scriptures and I am statements, affirmations, just for you to start manifesting, meditating, writing the vision down, making it plain, and watching these things come alive and produce fruit in your life i'm so excited for you i'm excited that y'all tuned in this long share with a friend if it blessed you don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you would like to have some more of this content and as always my email is open if you want to email me at tacoarisimone at gmail.com and if you ever have any questions and or any topics that you would love for me to cover i would love to do that until next time I love you guys. Don't forget to download that resource. Download it and share it with a friend. Y'all, even for, send me pictures or like a TikTok of you practicing your affirmations or writing them down or reciting them. I would love to see that. But more than importantly, like I hope you just do it and I'm staying in agreement with how God shows up in your life this week. Love you guys so much. See you in the next video. Peace.